Welcome to Food Science Peeps. In this video, I will talk about the definition of D-value and Z-value. And also I will show you how to determine D-value and Z-value by using survivor curve and thermal death curve. We call decimal reduction time as D-value. D-value is a measure of the heat resistance of a microorganism. D-value is the time in minutes at a given temperature required to destroy one log cycle or 90% of the target microorganisms. Let's look at this example. If the D-value is 1 minute at 85 degrees Celsius. This means, for each 1 minute of processing at 85 degrees Celsius, the bacteria population of the target microorganism will be reduced by 90% or 1 log cycle. So, at a given temperature, the higher the D-value, the longer the processing time required, thus the higher the heat resistance of the microorganism. When temperature increases, rate of bacterial death increases, as a result D-value becomes lower. Next, I will show you how to determine D-value. Let's look at the example. Determine D-value of a microorganism from the following data obtained at 116 degrees Celsius. Now, we are given time and number of survivor to determine the D-value. The first step is to calculate log for number of survivor. And then, we need to plot the graph log NVS time. This graph is also called a semi-log survivor curve. After that, we need to obtain the equation. From the equation, we can get the slope, or what we call M value. We can calculate the d-value by using the slope. Now, let me explain why and how we can determine d-value by using the slope. Let's say this point is log n2 and this is log n1. Since the difference between these two points is 1 log, so the T2 minus T1 is actually equal to the D value. Let me show you how I derive the equation to find D value. Since log n2 minus log n1 per m is equal to negative log n1 over n2 divided by m. 
Ok, now we know that d value is equal to minus 1 divided by m. Then we can get the answer. Next, let's talk about Z value. Z value reflects resistance of a microorganism to different lethal temperature. Z value is the temperature change required to change the D value by a factor of 10 or 1 log cycle. For example, at 110 degrees Celsius, the D value is equal to 100 minutes, what is the temperature for the D value to be shortened to 10 minutes? The answer is 110 plus 6, which is 116 degrees Celsius. This is because there is one log cycle reduction from 100 minutes to 10 minutes. So, now we knew that the lower the Z value, the higher the temperature sensitivity of a microorganism. Next. I will show you how to determine Z value using an example. It's actually similar to the D value. Determine Z value for a spore suspension if the following D values were obtained at different temperature. Here, we are given temperature and D value. The first step we need to do is calculate log D. After that, plot log D versus temperature. This graph also called as thermal death curve. Then, we need to add the trend line to obtain the equation. From the equation, we get the slope. Now, I want to show you how to determine Z value from the slope. Let's say this is log dt1 and this is log dt2. The difference here will be the z value if there is one log cycle here. Now, I gonna show you how I derive the equation to determine z value. This is very simple, just use the linear equation principle here. Then, you will get z equal to minus 1 divided by m. And you can get the answer. Isn't it easy? That's all for today's lesson. I hope it's useful for you. Thanks for watching.